I suppose Suniti went on hesitantly. There's no chance that Suniti was a goddess, or at least somebody noteworthy. Who was she? It was her grandmother's turn to hesitate. She was a queen, her grandmother replied. Suniti brightened. Was she a great queen? she asked eagerly. A much loved queen? Well, no, her grandmother admitted. She was the unloved queen of a king called Uttanapada, and her son Dhruva was his unloved son. Why were they unloved? Suniti demanded. I don't know, answered her grandmother. What happened to them? What's their story? It so happened that Suniti fell in love with Blue. Why Blue? her friend protested. The universe is wide. Why confine yourself to the color blue? Have you ever cracked your head against the sky? Blue is boundless, Suniti informed her friend. Her friend looked doubtful, but Suniti was unstoppable. And then there's the bow bird, that most courtly of creatures. He decks his bar with fragments of blue, shards of blue glass, iridescent feathers, petals of blue flowers, and even scraps of blue paper. But that's only one color, her friend interrupted. Suniti ignored this. Blue is Mary's color, and blue gleams off the skin of Hindu gods, and furthermore, why the sea is blue is also known as the Raman effect. Suniti paused, and her friend rushed in. Please, I myself like a variety of colors. Does that mean we can't be friends? When the kingfisher was old, a very tiny kingfisher arrived. I have retired, muttered the old kingfisher. It doesn't matter, replied the little one. I want to learn whatever it is you want to teach. All right, grunted the kingfisher. Sit down and wait. The little kingfisher sat down and waited. Right, she said. Now what? Think. The little kingfisher thought. After a while, she said, I've thought and I've waited. I've waited and I've thought. What happens next? Once there was a frog called Lily White, who, when she contemplated her own splendor, sometimes fainted with the intensity, the immensity, the degree of it. Why me? she would cry out in a solitary passion. Why me? And she would look about her, only to find that the other frogs were taking no notice at all. There they were, leaping and laughing and lounging about near the pond. Was it possible that they genuinely didn't mind? Can you forgive me? she would call out to them. Can you forgive me? Occasionally, a passing frog would stop to reply, Of course we forgive you. But, 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 Lily White would begin, I'm so bright and beautiful. Of course you are, the frog would agree and dive into the pond. Lily White was baffled. Once there was a child who sprouted wings. They sprang from her shoulder blades, and at first they were vestigial. But they grew rapidly, and in no time at all, she had a sizable wingspan. The neighbors were horrified. You must have them cut, they said to her parents. Why, said her parents. Well, it's obvious, said the neighbors. No, said the parents and this seemed so final that the neighbors left. But a few weeks later, the neighbors were back. If you won't have them cut, at least have them clipped. Why, said the parents. Well, at least it shows that you're doing something. No, said the parents, and the neighbors left. Then for the third time, the neighbors appeared. On at least two occasions, you have sent us away, they informed the parents. But think of that child. What are you doing to the poor little thing? We are teaching her to fly, said the parents quietly. <laughs>